Hi friends, in our last section, we already learned how to add expressions and how to multiply a simple monomial with a binomial or a monomial with a monomial. Now we will have a look at examples of multiplication of binomials with binomials, trinomials with binomials, and polynomials with polynomials. So let's start with the examples in this video. Here's the first example. 3AB, a binomial, this is an expression with two terms, multiplied with 2AB plus 3B, which is another binomial. So how do we solve this? What we have to do is take any one binomial out of the two. Let's take 3A plus 4B. And then we have to multiply 2A plus 3B with both. So we get 3A times 2A plus 3B plus 4B times 2A plus 3B. And there are brackets included throughout this. We use brackets for visual clarity and to set the order of operations. So order of operations says that we have to first solve everything in the bracket. So here we have 3A times 2A plus 3B. This is a simple multiplication of a monomial with a binomial. And the answer will be a product. And it's the same for 4B times bracket 2A plus 3B close bracket. We have to find the product. So let's solve. First we'll do 3A times 2A plus 3B close bracket. Then we'll do 4B times 2A plus 3B. So brackets are used for visual clarity and to set the order of operations that we start solving from. We start solving from the innermost bracket. And innermost brackets are the round brackets. If you have outer brackets, they will be curly brackets. And if you want to have another set of brackets, they will be square brackets. We always start solving from the innermost brackets, which in this case will be the round bracket surrounding 2a plus 3b. And we multiply this with 3a. And we will get 3a times 2a, which is 6a squared, plus 9ab. Now, this will be enclosed in another bracket. It will be a rounded bracket this time. Now, let's solve 4b times bracket 2a plus 3b. So, we multiply 4b with 2a to get 8ab, then 4b with 3b to get 12b squared. Once again, we add rounded brackets. So now, we have a sign, positive sign, outside of the bracket. You can easily open up the brackets or you can write them without. Note, if you did have a minus sign outside of the bracket, you would not be able to easily open it. When we have a minus sign outside the bracket, we have to open the bracket and reverse all the signs of the terms inside the bracket. So if we had a positive sign inside the bracket, it would become a negative sign and vice versa. So here we can remove the bracket to get 6a squared plus 9ab plus 8ab plus 12b squared. And now we can look to see if there are any like terms and then we write them together. So this will be the role of brackets. It shows visual clarity. And we have to solve each bracket separately in the order of operations. We start from the innermost brackets and then we move to the outermost. Order of brackets is typically round brackets, curly brackets, then square brackets. In this example, you cannot close the whole expression. We have to add the results of these two expressions, and then you can enclose it in one whole square bracket. This will be your one operation of addition. But in this operation of addition, you will find small rounded brackets, then curly, then square, in the order of operation. So 6 squared plus 12ab plus 8ab plus 12b squared is our answer. Now let's combine the like terms. 
We have 9AB and 8AB. Both are positive and like terms. We add to get 17AB. And our answer will be 6A squared plus 17AB plus 12B. Next question. 2X plus 10Y squared times 4XY plus 11Y squared. Now here we are multiplying two binomials. So first binomial is 2X plus 10Y squared. So we can separate this and then we multiply each term with the second binomial, 4XY plus 11Y squared. Now here once again, we have to start off with the innermost brackets. So we have to multiply 2X with 4XY and 11Y squared. So let's do this. 2x times 4xy is 8x squared y. 2x times 11y squared is 22xy squared. And now we have our first answer. And now we have our first product. Now we have to do 10y squared multiplied with 4xy and 11y squared. So 10y squared times 4xy becomes 40 becomes 40xy cubed and 10y squared times 11y squared becomes 110y to the power of 4. So here we have and 40xy cubed plus 110y to the power of 4 is the product of the second curly bracket. Now let's add up any like terms. For 8x squared y, there are no like terms. Same is true for 22xy squared. 40xy cubed has no like terms, and 110y to the power of 4 also has no like terms. So, this will be our final answer. We cannot add or subtract any of these terms. This will be our answer. It is the product of two binomials. Now we have another question. We have to multiply two expressions, both are binomials, as in an expression having two terms. This is expression 1 and this is expression 2. We have to multiply these. How do we do this? We know how. We take any one expression and multiply each term with the other expression given. So here we have 4x squared plus 2xy. Separate that and then multiply each term with 12xy plus 3x squared, and that is in rounded brackets. So how do we know if we have to add or subtract the term? Well, in this case, we have to add the term because everything is positive. So we will first be adding these two products. Now let's solve the first one. Remember, we use brackets to enhance visual clarity of the expression and to set an order of operations. So we'll add curly brackets to this expression. And we enclose them in separate curly bracket, as we already have round bracket. Now we enclose these two expressions in curly brackets. It means that you have to solve the innermost brackets first, that is, the rounded brackets. So let's solve. We have to multiply 4x squared with 12xy and 3x squared. 4x squared times 12xy. So we have to multiply coefficients with variables. And we will get 48x cubed y. Next we move on to 4x squared times 3x squared. Follow the same rules by grouping the coefficients and variables to get 12x to the power of 4. And now we enclose this in rounded brackets. So as you can see, there are no like terms. Both are unlike. So you can open the bracket and write it as 48x to the power of 3y plus 12x to the power of 4. This is the solution to the first part of the expression. Let's move on to the next pair of curly brackets. 2xy times 12xy and 2xy times 3x squared. So 2xy times 12xy, once again, if the base 
of the exponent is the same, we can add the exponents. So we get x squared y squared. Next, 2xy times 3x squared. So 2 times 3 is 6. x times x squared is x to the power of 3 and times y. Once again, we enclose this in rounded brackets. So since we are adding, we can remove the brackets without reversing the signs. And there are no more like terms, so 48x cubed y plus 12x to the power of 4 plus 24x squared y squared plus 6x to the power of 3y is our final answer. So we can remove the rounded brackets since it is just addition. And here we have 48x to the power of 3y plus 12x to the power of 4 plus 24x squared y squared plus 6x to the power of 3y. Now, let's check if there are like terms. 48x to the power of 3y is similar to 6x to the power of 3y. Both are positive, so we have to get 54x cubed y plus 12x to the power of 4 plus 24x squared y squared. This will be our final solution. Here we have our next question. We have to multiply a binomial with a trinomial. So how will we do this multiplication? What will we have to do? We'll be writing out any one of the expressions. Let's take n plus n. And then we multiply each term with the other expression. So we have m times 2m minus 4n plus 6x. Then we do the same for n. And we enclose this in curly brackets for visual clarity. And this way we can also determine the order of operation. So we have to multiply m with the trinomial. So we have to add this m plus n. Therefore, we'll be adding these two products. Multiplying m with this trinomial is like multiplying a monomial with a trinomial. So we multiply m with each term of the trinomial to get 2m squared minus 4nm plus 6xm. And then we do the same for the other pair of curly brackets. We multiply n with each term in the trinomial. So we follow the same steps for the other pair of curly brackets. n times 2m is 2mn, n times 4n is 4n squared, and n times 6x is 6xn. So we can remove the round brackets because it is addition. There is no need to reverse the signs or follow any additional steps. Therefore, here we have the products of the two curly brackets, and they are added. In this question, we have to add the expressions. This is why opening of the brackets is not so tricky. But then when you have a negative sign or a minus sign outside of the bracket, you need to reverse all the signs inside of the bracket. But here, we are just adding. So we can open up the brackets, and we do not need to reverse any of the signs. Adding of the expression is as easy. You just have to combine the two expressions, as in, we combine all the like terms. So let's find the like terms here. Does 2m squared have any like terms? No, we write it as is. What about 4nm? This does have a like term, 2mn. Even though the variables are not in the same order, they are like terms. So we get negative 2mn. Now let's move on to 6xm. There are no like terms for this, so we can write it as is. And 4n squared, there are no like terms. 6xn, there are also no like terms. So this will be our solution. And this is the product of a binomial and trinomial. Now let's move on to our next example. We have to multiply two binomials, which is 2x minus 5y times 6x minus 1y. So here we have to take one binomial and then separate it, then multiply each term with the other expression. So we can multiply 4x with the other expression, 6x minus 1y. We do the same with 5y. 
and we add curly brackets to determine the order of operations for this equation. So here we have two expressions in curly brackets, and we subtract because 4x minus 5y is subtraction. So let's solve the first expression. 4x is multiplied with 6x and 1y. Let's do this separately. 4x times 6x is 24x squared. 4x times 1y is 4xy. This is the product of the first set of curly brackets. And now we surround it with a rounded pair of brackets. Next, we can move on to the other pair of curly brackets. We multiply this monomial with this binomial. So we multiply the monomial with each term in the binomial. 5y times 6x is 30xy. 5y times 1y is 5y squared. So here we are subtracting the second product from the first product. Now since it is subtraction, earlier we have learned in all addition problems that when we add, we don't need to change anything. But when we subtract, we have a negative sign or a minus sign outside of the bracket. What do we do? We cannot just break the bracket as is, like we did in addition. When we have a negative sign outside, we have to reverse the signs. So this becomes negative 30xy plus 5y squared. And then we can append this to our first expression. So 30xy becomes negative 30xy. Negative 5y squared becomes positive 5y squared. And now we can append these two to get 24x squared minus 4xy minus 30xy plus 5y squared. And now we can check for like terms. Negative 4xy and negative 30xy are like terms. And we add to get negative 34xy. This will be our final solution. 24x squared minus 34xy plus 5y squared. This is what we got by multiplying the original two binomials. We took the first expression and we separated it and then we multiplied each term with the second expression. And then we solved each pair of curly brackets separately and then we wrote the product in rounded brackets. When we removed the brackets, since there was a negative sign, we had to reverse the signs of the second expression. So then 30xy becomes negative, and negative 5y squared becomes positive. And then we can look for like terms within this expression. 4xy and 30xy were like terms. So we group them together to get our final solution of 24x squared minus 34xy plus 5y squared. So friends, we have solved our question. And today we have practiced how to multiply binomials with binomials. We will practice more questions in our next section.